Wow. That beautiful anointed voice was from none other than my offspring. And if you want to hear the entire selection, you can find it on her YouTube channel, Cupcake Sweets, where her handle is at Cupcake Sweets 102. I recorded that video and I remember just really finally taking the time to really soak up the lyrics of that song. It's his eyes on the sparrow. And I heard her sing that song a few times, but that day I I did more than just appreciate, oh wow, that's my daughter singing that and while wow, listening to her voice and just being a nervous dad while she performs, I actually this time really settled in and heard the lyrics. And it blew my mind because at that moment, I was in a place where my heart was just heavy. My heart was heavy. I needed some encouragement. And I heard her sing that song. And the lyrics, his eyes are on the sparrow, and I know that he watches over me. And for those who don't know that, it's referencing the scripture, I think, in Matthew, maybe 10, 29, or 10, 29 through 30, something like that. And it talks about, I believe Jesus was encouraging his followers, saying that you can get two sparrows for a penny and not one of those cheap sparrows would ever fall to the ground without the father knowing about it, allowing it. So how much do you think he's caring for you? And I believe he goes on to say something about even the num the hairs on your head or numbered and i remember when i had hair that's a lot of hair that's a lot of counting and he's got a number and care and concern for each one of those and that blessed me just thinking of that i melted into just peace and encouragement just hearing those words and finally understand understanding what was being said it, it made me think about another scripture because sometimes in life, you just need a word. And there's a, there's a verse, Proverbs 15, 23. A man has joy by the answer of his mouth and a word spoken in due season, how good it is. And that day, that was a word spoken in due season. I needed that word. I needed that word right then and there that, you know what? No matter how heavy my heart is, God has not forgotten me. And I just start thinking about how important it is to just pour into people, to encourage people. How many people are walking around smiling, even encouraging others, laughing, seeming like the life of the party, but their hearts are heavy. It's a hard thing to, to look at. Hearing a good word at the right time is priceless. It's priceless. But hearing the wrong thing at the right time, oh, that, how much damage can that do? I think we are comfortable with hiding behind keyboards, hiding behind... Uh, text messages and things like that. And we just say whatever, not regarding the person on the other end who's receiving that. You don't know what someone may be going through. 
what they're just trying to survive, even just on a daily basis. They're getting out of the bed, and their only mission is to survive the day. But we add to it. You see, the word of God says, anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. We can spout out just nonsense and discouraging words and ugly words every day, all day. But I tell you what, I tested a theory one day at work. I was just talking to some, it was just a group of grown men around at work eating lunch. We're all grown at work. And one guy said something. I said, you know what? I'm going to tell him that I'm proud of him. But just let him know that I'm proud of him. And I said it. And I said it in front of everybody. And I watched this grown man with full beard turn into a proud and encouraged little boy. He just, I could see him just swell up. Just some... Other random guy is telling this other random guy, two grown men, that he's proud of him. And look what effect it had on him. Look what effect it had on him. I've seen this situation in my life where some people have good information, good advice, and they won't share it. And then there's other folks who have horrible advice, and they tell everybody. They, they can't wait to share, hey, man, you know what? It's okay to, to look at the menu. It's, and it's just a whole bunch of stuff that's just been passed down through the times. It's just horrible advice and things that are get, being passed off as acceptable but are definitely not. How about we use our words to encourage people and lift people up? Ephesians 4.29 Do not use harmful words, but only helpful words, the kind that build up and provide what is needed so that what you say will do good to those who hear you. There There was a quote. I I don't remember who said it. I don't remember who said it, but it was pretty fantastic. It said, don't speak to somebody based on who they are. Speak to them based on who they could be. I saw a meme one day. This little boy, he had a bike. It was so strange. I was watching it, trying to figure out what was about to happen. But he had a bike, and he was riding his bike, and he rode up on his bike next to a chicken. He laid his bike down, balanced the chicken on the seat, raised his bike back up with the chicken on the seat. Then he got on the bike and pedaled away with the chicken on there. I said, that's amazing. And then somebody made a comment like, because nobody ever told him what he couldn't do. And I heard a a teacher say once, Kids don't know what they can't do until you tell them. See, there's a lot of a lot of people are contending with the thoughts of the possibilities now, not even the actual realization, but the possibilities of failure because somebody was telling them what they couldn't do, who they're not, and not telling them what they could do and who they could be and who they actually are. What if we decided to pour into people? What if we decided to pour into people? I could stand around a group of guys and their conversation is going to be talking about probably women, sports, maybe money, side hustles or something like that. But they never really pour into them what really matters about character, about building each other up, about 
integrity, things that really matter. And most importantly, the word of God. That's not cool. Can't talk about that. But you can tell me about what you did last weekend with her. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to just beat my brothers up because I'm pretty sure women had the same sort of conversation. But they're worthless. Gossip. Nonsense. There's no way you should stand around talking to people more than five minutes without adding to them. When I joined my, my church, one of the main things we talked about, and they try to keep this, it comes up enough for me to really look at it. They said every man should have a Paul in his life, a Barnabas in his life, and a Timothy in his life. And if you look at what that means, a Paul in your life is somebody that's more along the way than you are, that's pouring into you knowledge and wisdom, helping you grow. A Barnabas is somebody who's your peer, and he's right there running alongside you. And y'all are pouring into each other, encouraging each other, correcting each other, and that's okay. And then there's a Timothy. These are the people you're helping bring up. These are the, the folks that you're pouring into. Imagine the world, right? So I'll ask you this. Do you have a Paul? Do you have a Barnabas? Do you have a Timothy? I don't really know what the woman version of that is, but make it work. Make it work. Ask yourself those questions. And then figure out what your conversation is like. What are you talking about all the time? Who are you talking to? What's the condition of your heart? Are you there to encourage or discourage? What kind of person are you? I felt I need to just bring this to light because I just feel like we're not talking to each other. We're not lifting each other up. And it bothers me. It really do but it really does bother me. I feel like we should be lifting each other up. Are you lifting somebody up? Is somebody trying to lift you up but you're fighting it? I'm gonna tell you like I told my daughter all the time. And praise the Lord, she listened to me. I say, go and be great. And she knows what that means. Add to people, add to situations. Don't have the minus touch. Add to people. Pour into them. Encourage them. That's God and Games. Comment, subscribe, share. I'm out.